All right, so what is good everybody on YouTube? This is of course your boy B Bullet RC coming at you guys again with yet another video and today man It is time once again y'all asked for the thrifting videos and me being me I will make sure I deliver but before we get into all that I gotta say shouts out to the finesse gang those who get here early subscribe leave a like drop a comment all that good stuff and most importantly Finesse that bell. I don't know what it is with YouTube, but they're trying to make it so hard for you guys that are subscribed to see my video. So if you haven't already, finesse the bell, get notified. So that way, every time a new video drops, you get notified. You are already on it, and you might see your name up on the screen right here with the rest of the gang. I got a couple more shoots coming in this week. Probably, I might post on a Tuesday. I know I told y'all I hate Tuesdays, but I got some stuff coming in tomorrow that time is of the essence as far as reviews go on that stuff. So I might drop a video tomorrow. I might not. Y'all will know though if you finesse the bell. So today, the mission, Frugal Boys Stand Up. We are live right now in the building. And what we're gonna be doing today is heading out to the thrift. Now, you guys know a lot of times I like to keep my, where's that? Where, where's, where's my guy at? The N cog negro yes you heard that right because everyone asked me if i say yes the incog negro shout out to chip the ripper king chip that's an old line he had in a real old song but yeah the incog negro g7x i usually keep this with me in the car just in case i'm running around i guess is a quick pro tip too if you do thrifting or if you do videos around thrifting always keeping a good camera on you just in case you find a thrift or you want to just run in the thrift real quick maybe you might find some gems some grails just making sure you keep it on camera so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to send y'all back into the past no not marty mcfly not doc brown backed into the past and show you guys three thrifts i went through got bags on bags on bags out of there then we're going to fast forward to today i'm gonna run out to maybe one or two stores real quick and then of course y'all know how we ended off we have to count off all the bags and go through each and every single pickup and let you guys know if i'm keeping it if i'm letting it go you know where to go bro bullsbodega.bigartel.com that's where everything that i'm selling gets sold at so i'm gonna go ahead and stop talking y'all enjoy these quick couple clips and we're gonna be right back Buy my bitch a brand new rolling and she still in it. Got that cardio with diamonds and I'm living it. 911 turbo boys, cause I'm a super driver. Young food always had the changes, but I'm big and I can never go back broken, that would really matter. Tryna sabotage my crew while you were swiping jumps. 911 turbo boys, cause I'm a super driver. Bags of riches, fuck these kids, I ain't scared. All right, y'all, so we just came out the thrift, bro. I know my hat probably looks crazy, but yo, blessings out there in that thrift. A lot of new pickups, and I just came here out of, like, randomness. I was just like, yo, let me go ahead and check the thrift. So that's one spot. I guess we can go ahead and move to the next one. But for now, blam, all the blessings, all of them go right in there. And we are back at the next spot, Salvation Army. Love and hate relationship with this store because it is big, but a lot of times, they'll spend a lot of time in these really, really big thrift stores and not get shit. So hopefully, this time, we'll get some more blessings, but I'll Okay, so we are finally done in there, bro. That shit takes forever. I was probably in there for a good 30 minutes, and the ops is out, so uh, yeah. Not sure what's going on over there, but listen, we got a bag. We got some fire, though. I mean, it, we took a while to get through there, but there was some actual fire in that spot. Next up, though, we got to literally go across the street, DAV, right there. And we are back, like I said, next spot is gonna be the DAV thrift store, which is right behind me right here. 
legendary spot, but it's been kind of dry the last couple times I came through. So hopefully this time we'll have a lot better luck. Anyways, let's go ahead, let's get in here. Let's see what they got. Okay, just got a DAV. I'm not gonna say Grails, but this is the best stuff I found in DAV in the last couple months. So I don't know what it is about today, but every store we hit, I found at least one thing, two things, maybe even three things. And it wasn't even all just bullshit. It was actually some good shit. So I guess that's it for me right now. I can go ahead and switch back to whatever damn at this point. And just like that, we are back. Like I said, this is just the beginning, okay? We still got some more stores to hit, but I wanted to go ahead and just show you guys what we got. So we got one huge bag, one bag already. We can place that on the couch, blam. Next up, another huge bag. That is two bags already. And then third of all, it might be a small bag, but don't worry, big things can come from the small packages. That sounded a little off, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. So for right now, we have three bags and honestly this could be a whole entire haul in itself i got some heaters especially this joint right here y'all y'all can't y'all might be able to see it through the bag right now but this i'm definitely keeping that one for myself but like i said let's go ahead head back out and hit like one or two more thrifts come back and then do the full video so let's stop talking let's go ahead and let's because my camera takes a little moment to focus you know what i'm saying okay now we're focused let's go ahead let's get it all right, y'all, we are back bright and early at the Salvation Army Family Store. I'm just going to go here real quick. I had to pick up for me in the morning. I'm going to go ahead and peep out and see if they got anything. Sorry about the wind. It is windy out here, but it's early. I'm feeling good, so let's see. Let's see what they got. Looking like Shaq in the post. Shaq. Go, 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 go. Drop from the hills to the mall. Yeah, baby, that window like don't go. Everything so much. Yeah, behind this wall, there is no photos. Jump out this bitch. Go, oh, go, yeah. Across my neck, yeah. Go, no go. And we just came out of Salvation Army, bruh. We are triple, triple, triple bag boys right now. I've never really thrifted really, really early in the morning, except for maybe once or twice before, but I definitely need to start doing it more because they had like everything out and the store was pretty much empty. So like I said, triple bag boys today. Thank you once again to the Salvation Army. And I need to hop in the whip and go ahead and get back home. So uh, I'll see y'all when I see y'all. And we are back once again, like I was telling y'all, one more store. One more store, you can call it quits. Salvation Army's right in front of me. Hopefully, hopefully, they got some good shit here. So let's go ahead and see what they got. A few moments later. All right, y'all, so we just came out that last thrift and let's be honest here. Uh, I honestly could just save some gas and kept the movement. So Salvation Army this time, R-I-P. But let's get back to the crib and get into all the bags. And we are back. Now, unfortunately, there were no blessings to be had at the last thrift spot, but I do have three more bags to add to the stack. So we got the fourth bag, the fifth bag, and hopefully the sixth bag right here is gonna fit on the top. So we got a full haul of brand new thrift blessings. So let's go ahead, go bag buy a bag and see what we got so the first bag we are going to get into is this top one and yo i got some fire tees in this one so first off we got a couple hats the first one we got here is a nascar joint and you guys seen this one during some of the b-roll it's just a nice old school nascar trucker joint all black on the snap nascar on the front then we got a smoking joe's racing old school i guess it's like some type of camel branded racing hat all purple yellow green some more details on the side i'm probably gonna let this one go up on the bodega but nonetheless basically a brand new dead stock snapback so definitely could not pass up on this one next up we had this old school green 
Bay Packers joint right here that I'm probably gonna have to restore a bit and I probably will let this one go as well in the bodega but first off I got to fix up the shape just a bit fix up the crown but nonetheless a pretty dope old school NFL license snapback now we got to get into these t-shirts and bruh these two t-shirts they were literally stacked right next to each other so it was just like a combo deal it was a two for one at the thrift so first off we got this Bill Elliott joint. The funny thing is that I actually found the hat to match this. It was some Batman and McDonald's Forever joint. The hat was like dead stock with tags and everything, but on the front, you guys can see Bill Elliott Batman logos. This is just a really, really dope, crazy graphic on the front, as you guys can see. This one is a bit washed out, and I think it is a size large, but it looks like it runs more like a medium to a large so i'm probably going to end up letting this one go i would i really would like to keep this one but not really my size size 94 bill elliott on the back just a really 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 crazy graphic on this one this joint right here this is not going anywhere this is staying in the vault all over print finally i get a good all over print nascar joint again bill elliott on the front it's almost like this western feel to it and you guys are gonna understand more when we get oh dropped it when we get to the back and the and you have the hold on let me let me read this i think it says and the dawsonville gang bruh colors on this one are perfect really like that old school western theme on this one and then on the sleeve it does have the 94 once again awesome bill right here this one is a straight heater and i will be keeping this one do not be surprised if you see this on ig on the chest very very soon and that was the first bag so next up i guess we go ahead and get into another small bag right here and let's see this one is actually one part from today's thrifting haul everything is bundled up in here so first off i cop this i really 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 want to find a nice like snow kind of skiing jacket at the thrift in some really good colors and actually in my size now this one's pretty dope it is black and purple by some brand called sub-zero weather zone waterproof and windproof and it's an all over black and purple kind of like tech jacket kind of ski jacket feel to it i just really really liked it it does say it's an extra small on the tag but it definitely looks like more like a large or a medium to a large. So if I can't fit this, if it does run a lot bigger, it's definitely not, a, this is not extra small at all. This is way, way bigger than extra small. So if I can fit this one, I might end up keeping it. If not, once again, I will throw it up on the bodega. This was a really, really dope skiing type jacket. So I picked that one up. Next up, this one, this one is a heater and I rarely ever wear crew necks and this crew neck I definitely can't wear because it will be completely blasphemous. My dad, like you guys know, is a Cowboys fan. So Washington Redskins vintage game joint. Look at the sleeves, mustard yellow and gray ribbing, really, really nice stitching detailing on the front of this joint. And then of course, to end it off, you do have your game logo on the sleeve. This one was really, really 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 clean this one will be of course going up on a bodega and this one is a size large so washington redskins vintage game joint and then last up i'm probably gonna end up keeping this and really i look like an aau coach but i kind of have an idea of a fit that i could put together with this it says caa championship on this side but it really has this nice purple teal and white feel up on the collar and the whole thing is like a pile design it's kind of like i don't i want to say it's sherpa because sherpa isn't pile um but it's really nice thick cotton material so i kind of have an idea of what i could wear this with it's just a long sleeve button up but i like the look i like the feel and i really like the material of this one so i went ahead and copped it and that's a wrap for that bag so let's go ahead and move on to the next one i'm trying to get all the small bags out of the way because the big ones have a lot of stuff in them so next up was from the same store i had a couple more pickups now i don't know if i showed this one off in the actual b-roll but this is just some running jacket it says first run on the inside feels like it was brand new and a lot of times when i throw stuff like this up on a bodega you guys seem to really like these old school windbreaker types so it's gray bordeaux and black definitely has a bordeaux seven vibe to it so once again this will be hitting the bodega soon i'll try to have anything that i say is going to hit the bodega up by like tomorrow at like 8 p.m because i usually don't post on tuesdays we'll see i might post actually though now this one i bought strictly off of the wash the look and the feel of it because obviously it says 96x 
modern rock and i don't listen to rock music really at all and i was gonna say like i just listen to death grips but i don't really want to put death grips in a box if you listen to death grips then you know but i wouldn't say it's a rock band or anything like that so 96x modern rock on the back and this just has a really nice washed out effect i don't know how many times i'm gonna say washed out but washed out effect on it so i grabbed that one and there is nothing else in that bag i think we have one more small bag right here and then we're gonna go ahead and get into the big guys back there so right in this bag i have a couple t-shirts once again from the same thrift you guys saw this one in the b-roll for some chevy guy out there all american chevy trucks throwback joint right here and i think this is a size yes a size medium and this will definitely be hitting the bodega very soon next up i just feel like somebody would really like this graphic this honestly to me looks like some shit that an artist or somebody would make as like some merch or some shit if they stopped off at like las vegas or something so it just says the gun store on the front has an mp5 on it and then the gun store on the back some gun store in las vegas but it was just a clean tee and i figured somebody would fuck with it so if I keep it, then I keep it. And if I let it go, you already know where it's going to be at. And then the last tee I got was that PlayStation 2 t-shirt. It's a really, I'm not going to say wash out anymore. Nice vintage feel to it. PlayStation 2 on the front, PS2 logo. You had the PlayStation joint in the back. So maybe if I get the PG2s, the PlayStation joints, I'll uh, rock this and have that full PlayStation fit. So now that we got all that out the way, it's a huge stack and pile in front of me. It is time to get into the bigger bag. So I guess we'll toss this one first. Now this is from the first thrift I hit. And honestly, I don't know where this jacket is from. It is a 2X, definitely a little bit too big for me, but I could see how somebody might fuck with this jacket. It's definitely out there for someone who with a specific style. But it says black Yankees on the back. Very heavy wool jacket. It's like a shawl collar on the front. And then you have NY right there, very, very, very heavy NY inspired jacket. So I don't exactly know where this came from or why it came about, but I figured that somebody that wore 2X would really make this work in a fit. So I went ahead and grabbed that one. Next up out of the bag we have, let's see, just pick out tees. I think there's two tees right here. So first off, we got this one right here. This is an old MLK 50th anniversary March on Washington DC. And this one was from 20. 13 just an old you know not too old not really vintage yet but an old school mlkt why not go ahead and pick that one up then next up we have this joint right here on the top of the graphic it does say legend you got the man himself dale earnhardt and this one is talladega october 2000 the intimidator on the back and then it had a couple more little words and a little blurb about it and i think this one is a brand new size xl definitely feels and looks brand new even the tag isn't washed out at all so this one might stay with me or it'll get tossed up on the shop. Next up, we got two of the same crew necks and they're actually not together, but we have two of these old school Lee Sports Mark McGuire crew necks. So we have a red one and then I should have a navy blue one to match. I'm assuming the person that had both of them just donate them at the same time. Navy blue, red, embroidered on the front, Mark mcguire joint this was just an old school wilson jacket i think wilson has some actually dope stuff some of the old stuff that i found in the thrift is really nice i still have an old school tee on my rack right now this one is a size xl and it's just an old school navy blue wilson jacket wilson embroidered on the top nice ribbing big w embroidered as well and just a cool little lightweight clean clean nonetheless it feels feels and looks brand new and then last up we got a couple more things in this bag let me go ahead and dump that out a lot of navy blue from the store that i'm seeing so i found this right here old school white black and red nike tag and it's just a navy blue nike tee and then it has like this i don't know basically rubber nike swoosh on it very very simple but i'm definitely going to keep this one with me and next up we have this t-shirt right here. This was a Jeff Gordon tee, brand new with tags, Jeff Gordon joint. And I feel like I dropped one of the tees down here. This one right here is an old school Atlanta Braves joint. So this is a size, what is this, a size large. Very, very simple throwback graphic on this one. Let me push down, let me push down all this stuff because a lot, it's a lot down here. And now we have finally made it to the end of the haul and we have another big bag i think there's only two pickups in this one but some good pickups 
None. I don't know what that was. Right here is this throwback one right here from Starter. Of course, Virginia across the front. Navy blue, orange, and white. And this one is actually my size, so I might end up keeping this one for myself. And then in the back, big team logo embroidered on that joint. So really, really good find. Really, really good find. And they weren't even trying to crack heads wide open for the thrift. So yeah, another vintage Starter flame pickup. And the last thing we have right here is definitely going up on a bodega because it is too small for me. This one right here is an old Flyers jersey. Now I would have loved to have gotten this jersey in my size, but they did not have my size. And this is actually, I think it's a child's or a youth large. So I would say a men's extra small. And this one will be definitely hitting the site for sure. Very, very clean, almost feels brand new. Tackle twill, everything, name plates and everything put on this joint. Official Flyers gear right here. And this is an old school CCM joint. So listen, man, that is gonna be it. That is it for all the thrift pickups. If you guys like the video, go ahead and drop a like. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. If you're not subscribed, I don't know what you're doing. And that is gonna be a wrap, man. Much love to all the fam, followers, and of course, supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snapchat. The Snapchat is bull.cb, by the way. Here, there, Buzzy about of course. I don't have no shoes, so bullet RC. And I will see y'all on the next video. A lot of new pickups, a lot of thrifting going on, a lot of bags going on, and that's it. We are out of here. Peace.